Hi YouTube, Art again here with another Warzone 2 audio video. Sorry for the delay on this, I had some health things come up that I needed to take care of, and I had a lot of testing to do with all of the changes that they made and didn't say anything about in Season 3 of Warzone 2. Now, it seems like with the Season 3 update, they changed audio all over again. The kind of exploit that I was able to do with the hi-fi cable, the surround sound information, all of that, they seem to have cleaned up the surround sound mix, so I can't really pull down your own first-person footsteps like I was able to and amplify everybody else's. The game is still outputting those surround sound tracks, but they are far more immersive, and there really is no competitive edge to be gained there. So after a lot of testing, it seems like Loudness EQ is back, but we have some extra tweaks that we learned from the old system that we're gonna bring over. So in today's video, I'm gonna show y'all how to enable Loudness EQ, how to install my extra tweaks, and how to hear more people on the map. I'll walk you through how to enable Loudness EQ, but in addition to that, you'll need to download three things linked in the description below. First, you'll need to download Equalizer APO. Next, you'll wanna download Hisuvi. The final thing you'll wanna install is Replugs, which is just a set of free VST plugins. All of those are linked in the description below. If you followed my previous guide with the Hi-Fi cable, you should have all of these already. If you do have the Hi-Fi cable, you can uninstall that as well as ASIO Bridge. So step one is going to be enabling loudness EQ. Now this is gonna be different for everybody's hardware, so please try to follow along as best as you can. There's two ways to get to the sound control panel. If you're on Windows 10, the easiest way is to right click your speaker icon next to the clock in the taskbar and select sounds and then go to the playback tab. Now, if you're on Windows 11 or if you're on Windows 10, you can hit the Windows key and search for mmsys.cpl and hit enter. This will take you directly to the control panel link for the sound control panel. Now that we've got the sound control panel open, we'll want to scroll to the device that we use to listen to the game on. Now, I've already done the work here, so if I click properties and then enhancements, you'll see that loudness EQ is enabled for me. If you have this, click it, enable it, select it in blue, and then click settings at the bottom and set this to short. This makes the attack and release time of the compressor as short as possible so you're not losing cues when things get too loud or too quiet. If you do not have loudness EQ available or have the enhancements tab by default, it could be for a couple issues. One, totally, it is the audio driver that you're using. It seems that loudness EQ is only available on audio drivers that use the high definition audio driver from Windows. Now it is very hardware dependent whether you have the enhancement tab or not. There are some workarounds, but it only works for some hardware. So to check to see if it works for you, what you wanna do is go to your start button, right click it and select device manager. The device manager window will pop up and you'll wanna scroll to the section called sound, video, and game controllers. You'll wanna select the device that you listen to the game on. So again, in sounds, for me, that is Realtek R Audio, right? So I'm gonna select that here, I'm gonna right click it again, and I'm gonna select update driver. Now, a new window will pop up. You'll wanna select the blue hyperlink that says browse my computer for drivers. Another window will pop up. You'll wanna select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Now here, if you do not have high definition audio device as an option in this window, this hardware port, so whatever port you're connected to or whatever device you're using will not support loudness EQ. You'll need to either use a different hardware device or follow my simple guide linked in the description below and use the sound card included on your gaming monitor. Now, if you do have it listed here, all you'll have to do is hit next and hit okay. The computer will prompt a restart. And once you restart, you should be able to go to properties and you will have the enhancements tab. Now that we have loudness EQ enabled, the next step is going to be installing Equalizer APO on that hardware device. So go ahead and run the Equalizer APO installer. You'll click next, you'll click I agree. Now this is the important part. Don't change this directory don't install this on your desktop or in your documents. Install Equalizer APO in the program files of Windows on your root disk. So go ahead and hit next, hit install. It will work through. And now it will actually run one of the apps that installs. This was an issue that people had with previous tunes. Equalizer APO isn't actually the name of the app it installs. It installs two that we'll use. The first one is called Configurator and it runs at the end of this installer. What it's asking you here is which device do you want to install APO on? Or which de device do you want to tweak an EQ? So for me, 
me, it's going to be the device that I installed Loudness EQ on. For me, that is speakers. And as you can see, I already have it installed here. If you have it already installed and it's on multiple devices, make sure you uncheck those, just not for any con confusion, and only leave it checked on the device you plan to listen to the game on. Like I said, for me, that is speakers. So I'll check this and then I will hit close. And it's telling me again, now this dialogue can be reopened at any time by launching configurator. So if you change your hardware, you change to a different port, you change your headset, you'll need to do this step again and run configurator. Now it'll prompt you to reboot. You can go ahead and do that now. The next application we'll install is Hisuvi. Go ahead and run the installer and it will ask you if you want to unpack into the default equalizer APO directory, you'll click yes. It will start extracting, this command line window will pop up, unpacking all of the data, and then the Hisuvi window will pop up and I'll walk you through the settings. Here are my new updated Hisuvi settings now that we're using Loudness EQ. So we're still using Atmos Minus. This is essentially Dolby Atmos for free. Also, Dolby Atmos doesn't work with Loudness EQ. It breaks the effects. This gives us more directionality and it doesn't cost any money. So you'll want to select Atmos Minus here. This is Atmos without reverb. Uh, on the right side under matrix up mix, you'll want to check stereo and make sure that the content format is stereo. So what it is doing here, it is digitally up mixing the sound coming out of the game to 7.1, which gives it a little bit more space and directionality, and then down mixes it again to stereo so that it goes to your double sided left and right headset. I leave the speaker position default and all the volume adjustment is left at 100 except for LFE, which again is those bass effects. I turn that down to zero. Once those are set, you can close this application. The final thing you want to install is replugs. Like I said, this is a set of free VST plugins. Go ahead and run the installer, agree, click next click install, it will run through the installer very quickly, click close and okay. Now that we've got everything downloaded and installed, we'll actually set up the tweaks. So go ahead and hit the Windows key, search for configuration editor, and go ahead and open that application. Now yours is gonna look a little bit different than mine because you don't have the config files yet. But if you go down to the description or into the Discord below to the game audio section, you'll find two TXT files. Now one is called Art is War, Warzone 2 Season 3 Loudness EQ, and the other one is config.txt. You want to make sure both of those are downloaded, and in Equalizer APO, you'll want to click the Open window. Now, select both of those downloaded files. You'll want to right-click and copy, and then come over to the Open File window here, right-click and paste those in. You'll get a prompt to if you want to overwrite the files. Yes, you want to replace the files in the destination. Once they've pasted in, go ahead and select the Art is War Warzone 2 Season 3 Loudness EQ file and hit open. Now you'll see here there's some peaking filters. Those are made to accentuate footsteps. But at the bottom, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to enable the two plugins that are included on this audio tune. So go ahead and click open panel, select the box, apply automatically, click apply and OK. And then for the next plugin, you'll want to repeat those st steps. Click apply automatically, apply and OK. At the top, click the save button. You can close that file. Now, if you close and reopen configuration editor, the new configuration file will load in and your screen should look like mine. So as you can see here at the top, we have the hisuvi.txt. Now this is the text file that is being referenced that has all of those surround sound settings that we set up inside of the hisuvi application. So white in this case is on, black is off if you ever wanna turn these off when you're consuming other content. Next, you'll see where those peaking filters and those two VST plugins are applied. I've included a line here that applies my text files to this tweak. Now, the last thing here is to make sure Equalizer APO is working appropriately. So what you want to do here is play back sound on your PC and make sure that this preamplification or this volume knob is actually changing the volume of the sound. If it's not, you'll need to run Configurator again. So Windows key, Configurator. You'll want to select your hardware device, click Troubleshooting, and you'll want to try one of these other flavors here. So try LFX, restart, try the volume knob again, see if it works. If that doesn't work, try SFX, MFX. It takes a little trial and error, and it's dependent upon your hardware, but one of these three should work. For me, it works default by running whatever Equalizer APO chose at install.
Now, you don't have to have Hisuvi open. You don't even have to have Equalizer APO open here. All you need to do is make sure that all of these lights are checked to white when you're playing the game. Usually what I recommend to most people is to pin configuration editor to their taskbar so that they have quick access to turning on and off these EQ effects. Before you close out a configuration editor, just make sure any gain that you added in the preamplification step to test is set back to zero or else everything will be way too loud or way too quiet. Once you've set everything, make sure you hit save, then you can close the application. The last thing we want to change before hopping in game and checking our settings are a couple things in the config file. So the, where you find this is in documents, call of duty, players, and there will be a file called options.3.cod22.cst. It's a mouthful, I know. Go ahead and open that file up in Notepad, and in the second line, you'll see number of output channels requested by user. You'll want to manually change this to 16. Now, I don't know for certain that this changes anything, but it's what I tested. I'm not sure if it's placebo, but this should force Call of Duty to output all those surround channels, which will force loudness EQ to be even more broken. Like I said, the game is so variable and audio cues are so hit or miss. I can't really be for certain if this is placebo or not, but I want to make sure y'all have the settings that I tested. The next thing is just a free little tip I found while deep diving in here. Uh, you can adjust your hit marker volume here. So as you can see, this is by de default set to one. I'm going to go ahead and change it to 0.5 here, which should lower the volume of my hit markers, even though there's not a slider in the options. Once you change these things, you'll want to hit Control S to save, and you can close the file. Now that we've installed all those programs and edited the config file, we'll double check the config file and we'll change some settings in the audio settings. So you'll want to navigate to your audio settings. For me, I use the PC audio mix. Some people use headphones. I found PC to have louder, more defined footsteps. My master volume, I set to 64 because I find this game just too loud and 100 seems to make the audio clip or distort a little bit more. My gameplay music, I have set to zero. My dialogue volume, I have about to half. My effects volumes are at 100. My voice chat volume is at 20. You'll have to set this to your own ear. And the cinematic volume slider that nobody asked for, I have set to zero. You'll want to make sure that the device that you have loudness EQ enabled on is your default output here. So for me, that's speakers. And then to make sure that that channels change that we made in the config file is working, you'll want speaker output to be blank. Now, if you select this, it should bug out and kick you from the menu. That's how you know the config file change works. Now, Loudness EQ does the brunt of the work. It makes footsteps way louder, but what was lacking with Loudness EQ was the directionality, and also chests were a little bit too loud, and gunshots were too loud, so my extra tweaks should add directionality and help with the volume of some of those really, really loud sounds. Now, if you struggled with these settings and you're not getting it to work, I do have a link down below for a one-on-one -on -one session with me that you can book through my Calendly. I had a lot of people in the Discord have great success with it, so you can book that down below. If I find anything else in any of my testing, I'm always tweaking and changing and trying to find new stuff. I will be sure to post it in the Discord and upload a new video here on the channel, so make sure you like the video, subscribe, and click the bell so you know when I upload another one. I'm live a lot over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash art underscore is underscore work. Come join me and watch some testing. We're going to be dropping some headphone and IEM reviews here on the channel soon, figuring out what's the best bang for your buck for gamers out there. Just going to throw some Ashika Island Solos gameplay here at the end to showcase the audio tweaks. And until the next one, I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Heard that.
Holy. 